Welcome to module 11.8, System of Linear Inequalities. So in this lecture video, I'm going to show you how to graph a linear system of linear inequalities. So as you can recall from module 10, to graph an inequality where, the, where we say y is greater than or y is greater than this way, greater than if means we will shade above the line. So as you can recall, uh, with a greater than is a dashed line. So if I have a line going, um, if I have a line going up the hill, greater than means we will shade above the line. Now less than, we will shade below the line. Okay, so if it says y is less than this way or y is less than this way, as you can recall, we always read from the variable. So if, it's, if the line is going down the hill, less than means we will shade below. So uh, we also have horizontal lines that we drew before in module 10 and vertical line. So basically what's going to happen is now we will graph two linear inequalities together it's called a system of linear inequalities which will be looking for a region of points in the intersection of two half planks that satisfy the inequality all right so for each inequality graph the boundary lines and shade appropriate half a plane then determine the region of the graph that is common to both half planks okay so let me show you how to do this so basically it's just like what we did in module 10 except we're gonna except now we're gonna graph two linear inequalities so um, for these type of problem for these problems here um, they want me to enter two points on the two points so I got three different steps to graph the solution set of the first inequality, I will need to enter some points. Step number two, we will graph the solution set of the second linear inequality. We gotta um, also enter two points. So I only got one graph here um, on the homework. It's actually three different graph. Three di every step has a graph. So um, I will just put them all together on one graph. And I will do this by hand as well. Um, the homework, uh, once you enter the two points, the homework will actually graph the line for you. But I'm going to do everything here by hand for right now. So my first line, I'm going to put it in red. Second line in blue. So the first line, 3x plus 5y less than 30. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and solve for y equal and using my slope and uh, using my slope and the y-intercept to give me my two points so since my 5y is positive I'm gonna move my 3x over so that give me 5y less than negative 3x plus 30 divide every term by 5 my slope intercept form now will be y is less than, since I'm only dividing by a positive coefficient, uh, my inequality stayed the same. Negative 3 over 5x plus 6. So right away, for my two points, the first one got to be the slope, uh, got to be the y-intercept, which is 0, comma 6. So for my next point, I can just use the slope to take me to the next point. My slope m says down 3 to the right 5 All right, from the y-intercept. So that means we will down 3. Down 3 means the y-value minus 3. To the right 5 means to the right 5 means the x-value plus 5. So 0 plus 5 is 5. 6 minus 3 is 3. So my two points is 0, 6, 5, 3. So I'm going to graph it right here. 
zero six is about right here. Five three to the right. Five of three is about one two about right here. Oh, I forgot to select the line. So since there's no equal to, I will select dash line. So uh, once you select dash line, enter the two points. The the homework will actually graph the um, graph the line for you. So here I'm just gonna use this to graph it for right now. All right, that's close enough. All right, so now let's work. Uh, since this is less than, then we I will choose to shade below the line. So I'm just gonna kind of sketch it real quick. So select the region you wish you wish to shade and you will just pick the letter that want you to shade all right the second line uh, x is greater than or equal to three as you can recall x equal to a number is a vertical line so this is going to be a vertical line at x equal to three since i have an equal to we will use solid okay solid line at x equal to three one two three so we will draw a vertical line all right so what are the two points for the vertical line well remember now for vertical line all the x value is going to be the same the y value can be any number you want them to be so I'm just gonna pick one and two so in that case they will draw me the vertical line uh, my inequality is greater than equal to so that means we will shade to the right so the intersection plane okay the a plane with the points that will satisfy um, my both inequality got to be the overlapping region or the intersection region. So to the, uh, let me color code this. I'm frozen up for a moment. Uh, go back. All right, so. I got to be below the red. My regions are below the red to the right of the blue. So the region that it intersected got to be about right here. So this will be the region you will select. All right, that's all we do. So that means that all the points Okay, in this intersect, intersect the region or solution region will satisfy uh, my entire system. All right, let's look at another one. The, uh, this one is, uh, let me do it again. Y is Y minus seven X greater than seven. All right, so let's solve for Y real quick. Since my variable y is positive, I'm going to move my uh, 7x over. So that gives me y is greater than, oops, sorry, use the wrong color, 7x plus 7. All right, my y-intercept, which is my first point, going to be 0, 7. My next point, I'm going to use my slope from the y-intercept. Um, positive 7 for slope means 7 over 1. Uh, so that will be to up seven to the right one so that should be one comma fourteen now one comma fourteen is kind of out of my graph so I'm gonna um, reverse my slope for a moment so if I do it backwards okay if I track my slope backwards that will be down seven to the left one like I show y'all um, 
before. So my second point can be negative one to zero. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I can't plot uh, one comma fourteen in this graph. So zero seven is on the y axis, y intercept. Negative one zero is right here. All right. So let's let's see. Uh, this is only greater than, so I will choose dash line. All right. So I got my two points: zero seven, negative one zero. So let me just kind of connect them with the line. Sorry, it's not very straight. All right, my inequality says y is greater than. Greater than means shade above the line. Above the line got to be on this side. All right. Now let's do the second one. The second one is saying y is greater than negative 2. So as you can recall, y equal to a number is a horizontal line. So horizontal line, y is equal to negative 2. That simply is going to be uh, choosing dash line. y is negative 2, let's go down 2. So draw a dash line. this so since this is greater than greater than means shade above my um, my horizontal line so the region that intersect the plane that inter um, the plane that intersect for the two inequality got to be somewhere right here so this is the step number three where you got to select the region that it that it but the two Plane intersect. All right. Oh, sorry, I forgot to write down points for you for the second line. So for the horizontal line, the characteristic is all the y values got to be negative two. The x value can be whatever you want to be. Okay. All right. Now this one is pretty straightforward. Um, it already solved for y for me, so I'm just going to get my slope and the y-intercept out of this. So my y-intercept, <coughs> excuse me, my y-intercept, 0, 2. My slope m is negative 1, means negative 1 over 1, so that means down 1 to the right 1. So my second point can be one, one. Um, we will select solid lines. Zero, two, one, one. Zero, two, one, one. That'll be right here. We'll select solid line. a little bit longer something like that since my inequality says y is less than equal to less than equal to we will shade below put that in red we will shade below so below the red all right let's see about my second one y is greater than greater than uh, using dash line shade above so my my slope in uh, my y-intercept 0 comma negative 10 is the first point if I follow my slope slope is 5 5 means 5 over 1 that will be up 5 to the right 1 up 5 to the right 1 so that will be 5 comma a five to the right one, that'll be uh, five comma negative nine. Zero negative ten. A five to the right one. Did I do it backwards? Sure did. 
up five means the y plus five to the right one means x plus one. So that will be one negative five. To the right one, to the right one of five, that will be right here. And we said use dash lines. So that's my blue. Below the red, the intersection region of the two plane, two half planes, Y is greater than, greater than means shade above, above the blue, above the blue, below the red. So the the Intersection, the region that we intersected got to be right here, okay? So, all the points from this region for my solution region will satisfy both my inequality. All right, let's take a look at other ones. So, this is just a vertical line and a horizontal line. So, let me go ahead and write down a few points here. So vertical line x is greater than negative 3. So vertical line, vertical line means all the x values are the same. The y value can be whatever we want them to be. So for horizontal line, horizontal line, the characteristic is all the y value are the same. The x value can be whatever you want them to be. All right, both are greater than. So for the blue, for my second one, I use solid. For the vertical line, I use dash, okay? So let's do the dash first. Vertical line, negative three, so that'll be one, two, three, to the left three. All right, to the left three. So negative three, zero, negative three up one, that will be right here, the vertical line. Greater than means we will shade to the right. Everything to the right. All right, horizontal line. Using solid, 0, negative 7 simply means go straight down from the origin, 7 places. 1, negative 7 means to the right 1, down 7. So let's take a look. Negative 5, 6, 7. So that will be somewhere about right here. All right. This time we will need to shade above. So to the right of the red and above the blue. So the intersection region, the intersection region to the right of the red um, above the blue got to be somewhere right here. Then. So this is a region you will select as the third step. All right. All right, one last one real quick. Uh, again, solve for y equal. So my y is, um, all I got to do is divide everything by 2. So that will be y is less than negative x plus 3. Divide every term by 2. So my point is the intercept, 0, negative 3. Now I use my slope. Negative 1 plus slope means down 1 to the right 1. Down 1 to the right 1, that will be 1 comma negative 4. So those are the two points. 0, negative 3 to the right one, down 4. And I'm using a dash line because there's no equal to. Red dash.
on this draw if I hand in. Okay. All right, the next one, the second line. Oh, less than, less than where do we shade? Less than, we shade below. Okay. All right. My second line. Um, divide every term by negative 2. So as you can recall from module 9, whenever we, whenever we are dealing with inequality, divide by a negative coefficient, that's where my inequality got to go the other way. So that will be y is greater than or equal to 3x plus 9. So my two points, the first one is my uh, y-intercept, 0, 9. My slope, 3 over 1 to the right, 3 up 1. So that will be 3 comma 10. To the right, 3 up, <coughs> excuse me. To the right, 3 up 10. That will be about right here. So my blue line, I will use solid because they're equal to. Y is less than, less than being shade below my blue. So solid line. Okay, let me make my red line a little bit longer. Okay, somewhere right there. All right, Y is less than, less than shading below. So everything below. Below the red, below the blue, below the blue, and below the red. So, uh, so that will just be, if you just visually look at it, so this, this line continuously going, so that will just be right about here. Below the red and below the blue, okay? Because this part will be above the red, so I cannot um, shade that part. Alrighty. So, in this lecture video, we talk about quickly how to graph a system of linear inequality. Basically, we, we, shade, uh, we graph two inequality and in looking for the uh, the intersection regions of, of the two inequalities and that is called the solution region. Alright, that will conclude this lecture video. Thank you for watching.